Hello! Today you are going to learn how to play this very fun buy a bear math game so that you can play it with your students tomorrow, this week, next week. You will have it in your bundle of goodies to play anytime you want. And of course, there will be a freebie. So if you are ready, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and we will get started. Here we go. Welcome to the live stream where the next few weeks, and if you haven't caught the other ones, we are playing games. Why? Because games are super fun and kids love games. So today's game is a math game. It is for grades, kindergarten, first grade. And uh, there is a part of this that is a little tricky. So I would say even second graders would benefit from this game. Like all the other games, it is fast prep, means print it. You're done. Put it in a page protector so that your students can play again and again. And this one, they it will need to be in a page protector because this right here will be getting erased and reworked all the time. So let's go ahead and jump in. If you're getting any value from these, please consider subscribing because on Sunday there will be another game and another freebie. Buy a bear. So the way you play it, super simple. Uh, it has the freebie is, I believe, this one, but it has other uh, levels, and we'll get to that in a second. The first thing you need to do is get a spinner, and I'm sorry about that little glare there. And today I am using the this magnetic one, because why not? Um, the link for that is in the description too. I got these on Amazon. They're magnetic, but um, I had to put a magnet on the other side so it would stay put, right? So first thing you do, super simple, spin, and you get a four. Now, if you are watching this on the live, go ahead and feel free to ask questions as we go. If you are watching the replay, ask questions in the comments. So for, if we're gonna do level one, and here is the QR code for level one right here, and level two, these are videos that you can watch instead of reading directions. Uh, you can watch the directions, which is super great because then you can send it home for homework. Um, if you're a homeschool parent, you can watch it, your kids can watch it. If you have a sub coming, have them, you know, it's just the best. So four, level one. This snow snowball right here is the special snowball. And what happens in that snowball is the most important. When you get a four, you don't have to put your four right there. You can choose to put your number anywhere on your number line that you want. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my four right here, and then I'm going to count forward. Oh, is that a math? Objective sure is start at any number other than one and count forward and backward. And my special snowball is five. So I'm just gonna come and five find my number five uh, bear and just X him out. All right, now it's green's turn and green spins. And green gets four as well. Now, if I was strategizing this, I would be like, well, I want to buy this bear. The only way I can buy this bear is to get both snowballs. And by that, I mean complete the snowballs. So I am going to go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have your little learner count out loud. Five five, I captured, I bought this little bear. Now, I come over 
and I use that money right there. Oh, can you see it? I'm kind of, I'm kind of in the way there. <laughs> there we go. All right. You color in the money. You keep playing until all the bears are bought. All right. So that is level one. Super simple uh, number identification, number matching, counting forward, counting backwards. Um, a little bit of strategy, but not not a ton, right? So let me erase this while we talk. Um, that's great, right? But what if you have little, some little smarties and you don't wanna make another game board for your little smarties? Well, guess what? It's the same game board, <laughs> but just a little bit different. This one, we are going to be finding missing add-ins. So the number, that the bear is holding, the two snowballs will have to add up to the number that the bear is holding, all right? So play is essentially the same. We have player one, player two, they spin. And this time it's on the line, we'll, we'll go with eight. So I'm gonna go uh, because, and they have to do a little strategizing, uh, 10 is the biggest one on this uh, bear right here, okay? And hey, Don, how are ya? Nice to see you. So 10 is the biggest, so I will put, um, I'm gonna put my eight, I'm gonna put my eight, I'm gonna put my eight right here. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, oh, five, six, five, four, three. Isn't that just like a teacher? You can say something, but write something totally different. Six is my number. Now I can choose two, no, seven, yeah, eight, yeah. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose nine, all right? So six plus what? equals nine. Well, hopefully the green will be able to figure this out. I am spinning and um, getting number two. Now, what I need to do, if I want this to be a number three, where should I put the two? Mm-hmm, right here. You can see how this could be a little bit tricky for some of your students to strategize this. So I have three right here, three right here, six plus three is nine. I just bought the bear. How much is the bear worth? Nine, so we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you see that right there? Mm-hmm, perfect. Okay, so essentially that is the game. They just keep playing until all the bears are bought up and uh, done. So there's two levels and um, the full pack has, I mean, it gets, it gets complicated. So much, so complicated that <laughs> we're not doing it tonight, right? The math is gonna get tricky. So there you go with that. I, I was gonna say the math is impossible from Megamind. Um, so why do kids need independent games for learning? I, when I taught third, fourth, and fifth grade together, that's right, and it was a small country school, bought, um, and I taught them together, I really saw the value of kids working independently and with partners. Let's face it, I am an amazing teacher. And in fact, I tell my students all the time, you go home and you tell your parents how, what a, an amazing teacher Miss K is. <laughs> and they go home, yes, Miss K is the best teacher ever. But let's face it, I am not the be all end all of teachers, right? Uh, they can learn 
from themselves and from each other. And that's why independent learning games and practice is so important. And let's face it, having games that you can um, have them play whenever they're done, like in my early finisher solution, the link's down below, the kids, have a ton of games in their binder. They're learning games. Oh, that's blank, but it's blank for a reason. All right. And they can, when they get done with an assignment, they get done with an art activity, whatever you do, they have something to go do quietly. It's not little bins of this, that, and the other thing, which is great, but confessions of a, a frazzled teacher. I had the hardest time keeping those bins straight and organized and refreshed and all the things. This kind of game is what saved my bacon all the time. So if you have some questions about running stations, about independent uh, reading or math games, go ahead and put them in the comments um, and we will get those answered. You're probably wondering, where's your freebie? It is down below. Go ahead and find it and it will say resource. It's right underneath Dawn's uh, link there. She's the one that her and her husband are the composers and performers of the music that you hear on the intro and the outro. Amazing YouTube channel, check them out. And, uh, but that resource is right below her link. So grab that, try it in your classroom, see how much you like it. All right. Um, what else, anything else? If you have not already done so, make sure you subscribe because there are more games. This Sunday, I believe is another math game. And that's about it. All right, keep teaching. You are a light in the world. Kids, they love their teachers. So thank you for teaching. And if you have any questions, just give me a holler and I will see you on Sunday with the live. Remember the creator of the universe loves you. And I think you're pretty amazing too. God bless you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.